My name is Louisa and I am in Oliver, British Columbia. I've been with the BC Public Service for 24 years and currently I am with the Ministry of Agriculture, Food and Fisheries for the past 11 years. When the notice for the first lockdown came down in March 2020, I was actually off during spring break with my son. And so when I went back into the office, everybody else had vacated. They had all started to work from home. I was um, approached by management. How do we, how are we gonna do this? And what do we need to do? And those sort of things needed to be put in. So I never did be one of the employees that got to work from home. We do have, have about 900 paper files and because we were paper driven, it wasn't too difficult when the staff started to come back. We had our protocols and everything for the two years did go well. When they came up in October and said, you know, now is the time for us to, to be mandated. Everybody else was just, you could tell that they were all on board with it. It impacted our family because I was very stressed and anxious and I did my best to not have um, my family be affected by it. My husband's been off work since November, 2020 due to knee surgery. So I've been the sole income earner. When management did their phone call to the office to, to verify um, vaccine status, my response was, I don't have a passport. And um, it really, you shouldn't be asking me my medical information. <laughs> I had to walk into one of my managers into our local office to turn in my keys and completely shock him with the, the news. I turned in my keys, he was very surprised, understood. My, my, the staff knew that I am I'm an aortic dissection survivor. My dissection happened in 2018 at work. So they were all aware of a heart issue and completely understood my reason for my hesitancy with a vaccine that would possibly cause further damage to my heart. I haven't heard from anybody, which is a little disappointing. I'm not sure what they get told about a staff member that has been put on leave. I can't go in and just say, hey, or whatever, which makes it a little interesting. I don't sleep very well. I get panic attacks where I can't breathe. The uncertainty of how to continue to look after my family has been great, but I'm having to be the strong one as well in the family. It's, it's sad that we can't just be accepting. We're, we're you know, we're so in our workplace, we're accepting of all kinds of diversities, but we're not allowed to accept this as a diversity. And if we're made to feel unclean, I take pride in my work. I am happy to help any of the, the public that comes into our office and assist them in any way that I can. And I do miss my work. It may seem like what I do is boring and routine, but I know that it's valuable. And I'd love to be able to step back in to the role, continue my career, see it through to the end and not be judged.